What's going on everybody? In today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, I'm going to be covering some immersive and stylish outfit concepts for you to take inspiration from, and they cover all sorts of aesthetics you could find yourself needing to tackle in the Wild West. I hope this gets your creative juices flowing when it comes to the outfit customization in RDR2, and if you enjoy today's video, be sure to like and subscribe for more RDR2 content. Fairly early on in my first playthrough of RDR2, I noticed that the Paragon Town Hat strongly resembles Django's hat from the latter half of Django Unchained. That got me thinking when it came to outfit customization, and I recalled Django's quote about burgundy potentially being his color. So, I assembled an outfit inspired by his ending outfit from that film. It's not an exact recreation, but that's not at all what I was going for. But capturing the spirit of a charismatic and well-dressed gunslinger is exactly what I was trying to capture. To assemble this outfit, you'll need the Paragon Town Hat in dark brown, a dark red classic frock coat, a legion vest, an everyday shirt but with the dark red and black color scheme, work pants, black with pinstripes, western rider spurs in dark brown on dark brown old west boots. The dark brown old west boots are something you're going to see uh, consistently throughout this video. They're my go-to when it comes to creating that quintessential wild west look while also being sleek and rustic at the same time. We'll round this outfit off with a puff tie that's got that dark red and grayish black color scheme mixed with cavalry gloves, the dark brown and black kind, to match with the boots and hats. Now to move on to something less bombastic, we'll go with two different civilian outfits, one for the country and one for the city. Starting with the city one, something you'd feel comfortable wandering the slums of St. Denis in, is going to be the city civilian outfit with a bowler hat, a brown pinstripe worsted coat, a classic vest in blue, an everyday overshirt, and cuff town pants in a faded green and patched together look with workman's boots, dark brown and rusty dusty and very old. I find this outfit extremely immersive for drinking at Doyle's Tavern, stopping by the market, or riding in streetcars. You blend right in with the townsfolk of St. Denis. But to get out of the industrialized world, let's move over to a country civilian look. To start off this look, you need to find yourself a cutter hat, which you can only get from beating up a rancher. So find a ranch in the game and they might spawn in wearing this hat, among other various hats that are exclusive to ranchers in the game. Once you pair that up with the buckskin king vest, an everyday overshirt, the same one that we used previously, and the default John Marston pinstripe ranch pants and worn roper boots with the default gird and spurs will top off this look. And after that, boom, there you have it. You're the perfect picturesque Hollywood cowboy, ready for a night of drinking and gambling at Smithfield Saloon. Returning back to the more flamboyant and lawless side of the West, this next look is very stylish. The classic man in black trope you see in many Western films, but this one is more uh, catered to Saint Denis, so I refer to it as Le Homme Noir of Saint Denis, the man in black of Saint Denis. For this look, you'll need black range gloves, the black French dress shirt, a black Thompson vest, black derby hats, black everyday pants, black deluxe quick draw boots, black Neller spurs, a black tie, and the entire upgraded weapon equipment set, so it's all in that sleek black look and color scheme. The next look is honestly my default look. This is the one I find myself playing in most, that I use most in my own playthroughs and exploration and free roam in Red Dead Redemption 2, and I call it the Fringed Gunslinger. It uses Arthur's Gambler hat, a fringed hunting jacket, the red one you get fairly early on in the game, with a Wrangler vest, an everyday shirt, in blue, Arthur's everyday shirt, jeans with the fringed shotgun chaps, which the color scheme and aesthetic of these fringed shotgun chaps aligns perfectly with Arthur's hat. They look like they were made for each other. Uh, and like earlier, the Old West boots and dark brown with the dark brown western rider spurs and riding gloves I'll cap this off to create my favorite outfit to use in the game and what is in my mind a picture-perfect Western protagonist outfit, more specifically latter half of the era of Westerns in Hollywood and more towards the era of Spaghetti Westerns. This is a 60s cowboy. Think what Leo DiCaprio is calling back to in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood with his look. The next fit I've cooked up is a lot more fancy. I refer to it as the Southern Aristocrat. However, I'm not talking stupid handlebar mustache, stupid fucking tailcoats. It's still badass, it's just fancy, it's stylish, and it's got southern flavor to it. To create this fit, you'll need the classic vest in blue, the French dress shirt in white, a dress tie, the dark red version, 
with work pants, plaid work pants, the black ones, uh, and black wingtip gaiters, a crusher hat with the red rim, and a worsted coat, the green pinstripe. Now maybe you won't be so out of place in the Rhodes Parlor House. And the final concept I will present to you today is the Mountain Gunslinger. So before you even start assembling this outfit, you're gonna need to be in the end game to get the one specific thing that I think really ties it together, which is the, I don't know if they're half chaps, the, they're like the winter suited, super insulated boots that you get, that you only get when you select the winter cowboy outfit from John that you get once completing the game. The only way to have that look for your boots and your outfit is to start off using that outfit so once you've selected that outfit and now you're editing it i want you to add all of these next clothing pieces the stalker hat pick the one that's vaguely like dark brown black but it's got a ton of dirt and grit and grime on it so it looks really rusty dusty it looks great when you pair that up with the montana coat that you get from the grizzlies out outlaw outfit uh then put on an ebony outdoorsman vest the collar over shirt that's blue with the white collar with the default blue jeans and range gloves. And there you have it, your winter gunslinger outfit.